Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, <laughs> I will be discussing Accenture's latest interview experience. This interview happened today only. That is on 3rd December 2024. Guys, many of you have seen videos on YouTube that Accenture don't ask technical questions. They are only asking non-technical questions. Then this video is definitely for you because there are a lot of technical questions which have been asked by Accenture through, by this candidate. And this happened today only. Okay. And in the morning also, I have posted a video regarding the Accenture hiring update, wherein many of the students have got the cancellation um, uh, information from their colleges. Many of you have received your interview selection, slot selection mails. Many of you have received your communication mails. So for different, different colleges, we are at different, different stages of placement. In some colleges, placements of Accenture have been stopped. And in some colleges, they are ongoing and we are in the middle of those things. So don't worry. The Accenture interviews are still ongoing today. Also, many of the candidates had the interview. So just focus on your preparation and keep preparing for Accenture also and different different companies also. So guys, now let's see this interview experience of Accenture. But before moving, <laughs> moving ahead, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this Telegram group. <laughs> this is dedicated for 2025 batch students. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, the first question was, as you all know, is introduction. But you should include an introduction. You can include your education background, your skills, your internships, your projects, your extracurricular activities, and your hobbies also. All these things you can include in this particular question, and you will be good. So the answer should be anywhere between one or one and a half minutes. Okay. Now moving towards the next question. What are the features of Java? So since the candidate mentioned Java as its primary language in resume, so therefore the question were related to Java. So what are the features of Java? On the higher end, we have object, it is object oriented, portable, platform independent, secured, robust, okay, interpreted, high performance, multi-threaded. So all these are the features of Java. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is how Java is different from .NET. So see, there are a lot of difference between Java and .NET. Okay. So just try to explain it <laughs> any two. Uh, any two differences and it will be good to see the major difference is that dotnet only supports windows operating system whereas java supports multiple operating systems okay so i have uh, so i think this question is also clear to me next is what is controller in java so there is a controller annotation that is used to specify the controller so see we have apis okay we have apis in java so first of all this controller question is from the spring boot so this candidate also had some projects in Spring Boot. Therefore, this controller related thing was asked. So we have an APIs. So when we hit the API on the web browser, so first, <laughs> first the control reaches towards the controller. So if we have a function, public uh, void, let's suppose X, Y, Z is a function name. Okay. And on, on that, if the annotation is written at the rate controller. Okay. And then there is an API path given. Let's suppose slash hello. So if slash hello will be fired, so this function will be the first triggering part. Okay. And then there will be a business logic written inside this controller and so on in the service layer and DAO layer. So this is what the controller is. Whenever an API is fired, that endpoint that is configured to a function is written first. Okay. Is triggered first. I hope this is clear to you. Next question was a situation question. So again, Accenture is very like. <laughs> Uh, renowned for asking situation based questions. So one such situation question was asked through from this <laughs> candidate also. Next is what is the difference between controller and rest controller. So for rest, making rest APIs, we use rest controller and for normal MVC controller, we use the controller annotation. I hope it is clear to you. Next is what is a thread? A thread is a very lightweight process or we can say the smallest part of the process that allows a program to operate more efficiently by running multiple tasks simultaneously. So see, whenever tasks are running, so what is the smallest unit on which the task run? It is known as a thread. Okay, are the codes we write, any program that is running on the smaller end, on the smallest unit, it is a thread that is running that program. Okay, so there are, there are multiple <laughs> threads also, multiple tasks are running on parallel threaded environments also. So these all things are possible, okay? So I hope now you have understood what is a <laughs> what a thread is. Now guys, see, I know many of you are confused that sir, okay, these are the interview experiences. But how can we prepare for the interviews? We have seen interview experiences many. 
some questions repeat some are new questions so how to prepare for an interview so guys for that thing what i have done so on our top mid page of code bashers <coughs> we have important interview it subject note <coughs> if you will open these note <coughs> okay so you will find that all the subjects that are very important it subject are covered already in these notes we have 12 subjects covered once you will get these notes there will be 12 pdfs each pdf corresponding to each subject and in every pdf for every subject we have around 20 to 25 important questions as well as their answers present in these notes so till now 1660 students have bought it and we have a very good rating of 4.2 out of 5 so these notes have helped many because these contains for all the subjects important interview questions as well as their answer that you have to tell to the interviewer okay so there are some sample pdfs also you can see here okay sample pdfs also we have given the question then we have given the answer and so wherever possible we have given the codes also so these notes can be beneficial for you if you are preparing for any company not only accenture but any company once you buy these note at a nominal price of rupees 109 the access of these notes will be for lifetime and these notes will be definitely helping you for your last minute preparation and revising your concepts for all the companies these notes are valid for all the roles if you are interested the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment do check them out now let's continue in the video okay i, I hope now you know that how you should prepare for the interview next is if you have to show your project to the coo but error showing at the time of presentation what you will do this is a situation question like you have to present your code to someone but at that time error is coming so what will you do so again uh, try to be positive in every answer that you are giving okay so this depends a lot uh, in accenture okay next is how to create a thread so again continuing on the thread so how to create a thread so you will create a class extend a thread to it and will simply create the object of that class so that is how we are creating the thread and we'll do thread dot start okay <coughs> next is what is exception in java so exception <laughs> whenever our piece of code gets like <laughs> uh, stopped abruptly it's known as an exception there can be different types of exceptions that is the next question what are types of exceptions what challenges you face in your company so types of exceptions you can see here there are user defined exceptions there are built in exceptions built in exceptions can be of two types checked exceptions unchecked exceptions okay these are the different types so i hope now the exceptions are clear to you types of exceptions are clear to you now towards the last question any bad situation you have faced in life how you overcame that so again you are now in the fourth year of college till now around 22 years there will be there must be any bad situation that you that you faced and how you handled it you have to tell to the interviewer very honestly the more you will be honest in the interview of accenture the chances become good that case you will be selected so these were all the questions that was asked from this candidate i hope you liked the video and you found this informative if you did please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button make sure to join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students and if you are interested in these <laughs> these notes as they can help you in your last minute preparation and revising your concepts then the links you can find in the description box as well as the pinned comment do check them out thank you for watching this video and don't focus on the rejection thing that is accenture hiring cancelled or not if you have not got any such negative news from accenture or your college itself then don't believe it so for some colleges they have received it they have received rejection mail or the cancelling mail so yes for those colleges the hiring is cancelled but if your college have not got any update till now just keep on focus on the learning or that what type of questions can be asked in accenture hiring or any other company okay so thank you for watching this video